Hello, my name is Richard from Denford Limited. I'm going to follow on from the last video which was setting a workpiece offset. And today I'm going to show you how to manufacture a 2D part using QuickCam 2D using a tool change. The first thing we need to do is measure the workpiece which in the previous video we set the workpiece offset but now we need to get the sizes. So we need the X, the Y and the Z. So roughly it is 78 millimeters by 112 by 15. Now we need to open up the QuickCam 2D software. So if we're going to Denver applications, QuickCam 2D design, double click. The software will now open. The dimensions that we just measured off the workpiece we need to add in here. So it was 78 by 112 by 50 then press OK. This is just a simple 2D drawing package. We're going to do a very basic shape. First thing I'm going to select is a rectangle command and I'm going to turn the, the grid snap on. I'm then going to click inside the box and I'm going to draw a rectangle. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the circle command and I'm going to put it in the centre of the workpiece. When you're happy with your design, we then need to go down to the Create Tool Pass and G-Code setting. We click on this cam button. We then have the option to save. I'm not going to save this design, but I'm going to press cancel. It will then open up the materials database. The material that we're cutting is foam and balsa. You need to pick the correct material which you're going to use because this, the, mate, the machine will generate the speeds and feeds for that material. So we click on foam and balsa and then click next. In here we've got a set of machining plans. The first thing we're going to select is follow. We're just going to use tool one on this one. We're going to select the line which will then go green and we're going to put a depth of cut in which is two millimeters. And then I'm going to press calculate, the line will go blue and then press OK. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to mill a pocket. So I'm going to click on area clearance select the circle I'm then going to put another tool in so I'm going to use tool number three I'm then going to make it slightly deeper three millimeters down here we have the step over so if it's at five percent the bottom of the hole will be very smooth if it's at fifty percent the, the bottom of the hole will be very rough so we're going to go about twenty percent if you click on calculate you'll see the number of passes that the tool makes then click on OK. We have um, the machining plant and it will run in this order. So it will do the outside line first and then it will mill the pocket of the circle. Click on next. In here we can add tabs. So we can put tabs if you want to cut all the way through, but we're not going to do on this design. Click on next. The date and position we set in the last video um, in the bottom left hand corner. We can then check the output what the machine's going to do. The post machine type is Denford metric milling. Then we click on post process. We can then save this. I usually save it to the desktop so you can find the program and we press save. When you, as soon as you click save it will automatically open VR milling to run the program. We can then go into 2D and 3D simulation. 
stop, rewind, start. And it will simulate the part being machined. Now we're going to close the simulation bar and we're going to run the program properly. So we need to select auto and then we go stop, rewind, start. You are about to run the real machine. Do you wish to continue? You now click yes because we want the real machine to run. So now the machine has stopped, we need to change the tool to tool number three. It will tell you this on the machine software. So what we need to do is we need to go into tool three. We need to select tool three, which is a quarter inch slot drill. We need to go to the machine, open the door. We then need the spanner. We usually use a rag for this because the tools um, are very sharp. So you need to put your thumb on the brake Turn the tool slightly so the brake engages. We put the spanner on the tool, onto the collet, sorry. We slacken off the tool. So the tool's free. We then re remove tool one. We put in tool three. Finger on the brake again and put a light grip on the tool. We then take the gauge. We go to tool three and we push the tool up with the gauge until it is flush with the top of the collet. We then select the brake again and we tighten the tool just finger tight. You don't have to over tighten it else you will strain the collar. Now we need to shut the door so the machine will run because all them for the outlets come with a safety measure that the spindle cannot be run when the door is open. Go back into the VR milling software and we click OK. The program will automatically start. The machine um, has now stopped and has returned to the home position. The 2D part is now finished. The door can be opened and the part can be removed.